Hey guys, it's Jake with AG Russell Knives. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going over the AG Russell Blue Lagoon. This is a good looking knife. Now we have a anodized blue titanium frame here with carbon fiber inlays. You can see it's definitely eye-catching carbon fiber. We take care in choosing our carbon fiber. It is a lockback, pretty interesting, different from the uh, typical frame lock titanium. Then we have a thumb disc for opening. Very, very, I mean, I got this one to be drop shutting. I wouldn't do it with a lockback. Uh, you can see, yeah, uh, you don't want your fingers there. It has a deep pocket clip, and if I show you the right angle, the clip extends past it just a little bit. Yeah, so you're getting this fully deep in the pocket, and it is reversible. So between the reversible clip, the thumb disc, and the lock bag being a hand neutral lock, this is a fully right-handed or left-handed knife, which is awesome. I love knives that can do both because I can do both. <laughs> As we can see here in the center, there is the A.G. Russell striker pin right in there. I don't know if you can see it. There's the striker pin in there. That will catch the blade so it does not bounce on the back spring or any pins or anything and protects the blade while allowing us to get a little bit wider blade rather than being forced to have a wider tang. So that helps a lot. It is titanium and carbon fiber, so super lightweight. Coming in at 3.6 ounces. There's not a whole lot of uh, jimping on the, on the thumb disc. And by that I mean there's no jimping on the thumb disc. So it's not really a super fast open. You can't reliably flick it open. It's definitely gonna be more of a, a slow open. The blade is a clip point, sort of. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a, uh, reminds me of a harpoon blade with that extra, extra swedge on top there, which looks pretty cool. It is tip up carry only. But with the lock back spring on it, it has a biased closure, so it's never going to be just partially open your pocket because it always wants to close all the way up to like 30%, like right, well, yeah, right there. And then when you go a little bit further, it, it drops shut. And so it's got that biased closure, so I know a lot of guys don't carry tip up unless it's got biased closure. We do have some jimping up top along with the thumb disc. Very comfortable to rest your hand on for doing that extra cutting, putting extra force on the heel of the blade. So if you're, you know, kind of cutting a stick into a point there, you can put an extra control and, and force on the heel of the blade there and with a very comfortable rest, but uh, not being slippery if you, if you need it to be. The blade is a 9CR13CO MOV. So we got some cobalt, cobalt in there. It's gonna be a little step up from the usual AG Russell steel, a little bit of better edge retention. It is made in China from one of our best manufacturers. They're doing an excellent job. This is not quite available yet. The Blue Lagoon is not available yet. We are expecting it in any day, and we expect it to be available February, early February, like the first or so, is what we're expecting. Things change, but that's what we're looking at. That's gonna wrap it up for the Blue Lagoon. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Have a good one.